hello hello and welcome back to my channel today we are going to be building the chocolate engagement ring box okay we're also going to be putting a ring set inside of that chocolate box and this is the mold that we're going to use we're going to be using both the band and the diamond ring and we're going to build our chocolate box with these chocolate squares, okay? Inside that box, we are going to place a piece of chocolate cake to hold our rings up and in place. So I have two square cutters here. I'm not sure which one I will need, but that is what we're going to use. This is my first time doing this and I wanted to bring you guys along. I have my chocolate melted over to the side. We're going to be using our white jewel dust. Okay. We're also going to use our silver hologram dust. And we are also going to be using our ideal luster dust silver. Okay, so I am going to get started and I am going to load this mold with chocolate and we're going to go from there. Okay, so what we're going to do to fill our mold is I have put some chocolate here in a bag. I'm going to snip it in so it'll be a little bit neater. And if you have some overage, you can um, get rid of it once everything settles. So we're going to tap. Okay. And then we're going to pop it in the fridge, wait till it settles. And if we need to do any trimming of the bottom, we're going to do so. Okay, so I have taken all my chocolate out of the paper. And I have trimmed off edges, what we needed to trim off. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to add my band on the back, okay? So I'm going to take some of my chocolate before it all seizes up. Now we're going to add it onto the back. We're going to add it onto the back of our ring and we're going to stick those two together. Okay. So I just added chocolate there. I'm just going to add my band onto the back and glue it together. Okay. Okay. And we are going to Paint this silver and also add some hologram dust to create a diamond effect, okay? So we're going to put this to the side. We have unwrapped all of our chocolate. We are going to start putting these together and creating a box. Okay, so what we're going to do to create our box is we're going to take our piping bag and 
it's still kind of warm. So I might let it, let it sit a little bit more. But what we're going to do is take our piping bag and we're going to create our box. So we're just putting chocolate where we want it to be. And you're going to try to put it where your symbol is right side up, okay? So you're just going to put some chocolate there and try to hold it until it kind of dries, okay? And just creating a box. Put some there. And we're going to take that and we're going to make sure it's face down. And we're just going to stick it there on the side. Kind of stick it there on the side and kind of hold it until it starts to dry. And we're going to do all of our sides the same exact way. And you can use some of your chocolate bars. to set up in the back of it and hold it and then put another one in place, okay? So we're going to go here and put some chocolate there. And I'm looking from my camera, so. And then we're going to take this and make sure the symbol is right side up. And we're going to pop that one in place as well. And we're just doing that all the way around until we finish our box. And this one is going to go here. Okay. Okay, so this is what your box is going to look like. So that's going to be your chocolate box, okay? We're going to sit this to the side. And we're going to start working on our lid. So make sure your symbol is how you want it. So if it's going to go like this, make sure your symbol, well I guess it doesn't matter because it's going to be on the top and you can switch it around. But what I did was I cut um, some of my chocolate squares in half because we're going to make the lid for your box, okay? So we're going to do the same exact method that we did with putting our box together. We're going to do that same exact thing, okay? And we're just going to put some chocolate on the sides. Now we're going to set our halves in place, okay? And just hold them there until it kind of sits in molds, okay? And this one, we're going to put some down here because it won't fit inside of our box. So we're going to place it here. Hold it for 
for a second. Okay, so that way you're creating your top. Pick it up so you guys can see it. And then you're going to put your other one in place as well. And then we're going to come back around and put chocolate in and fill in the spaces on the sides that need to be filled in. Okay? Okay, so now that my chocolate is starting to set up a little bit, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and fill in spaces that need to be filled in. So you're just going to go around the spaces of your box on the sides and fill them in so it don't look so rough. Just do the same side, same thing with our box that we have already finished. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to take my finger and go in and smooth out any places that needs to be smooth and make them look a little bit neater. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be your box, the top of it, and we're going to go back in and smooth it out a little bit. This is going to be your ring box, okay, and I'm going to add some more decor to that, but the next step we're going to do is measure our box. So we're going to use our smallest square because we are going to put a square piece of cake down in this box, okay? So that is what's going to cushion your rings, okay? Okay, so here I have a chocolate piece of cake. I'm just going to take my cutter and go down and remove the sides. Okay. And I want to get rid of the top. Just making it straight. Okay. Now we're going to see if that fits down inside of our box here. Okay? Let me get a piece of wax paper. Okay, so we're going to see if that fits down inside of our box because that's what we're going to use as our cushion and it fits down inside so we are going to cut out a small portion of our cake so we can put our rings down in okay so we're just going to make a little slit there because that is where our rings are going to go okay
I'm going to add a, another piece in there to make it flush. Okay, so what I did was cut another piece of cake and I put it in our box to make it flush with the top because our rings were sort of big, so we want it to sit on top, kind of, and not inside of the box, okay? So we're gonna recut our cake in the middle and that's where we're gonna place our rings, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to start to paint our rings and we're going to paint them silver. Okay, so we are going to add our silver luster and we're going to start to paint our rings, okay? I'm using lemon abstract to mix with my luster and I'm using pure lemon abstract. I'm going to get a brush here. And we're going to paint our ring silver. Okay. And I didn't make it too watery or too wet. I don't want it too wet because it won't coat as good. Okay? And you're just coating your chocolate with your silver. Okay? If you don't want to coat the back, you don't have to. Put the back over, but make sure the front is coated well. Let's add a little bit more. And just make sure it's coated good. Okay, so that's going to be the coating process, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our hologram dust. I'm going to add a little more silver here because I want to dip this in my hologram dust and coat it. Oh, it's too big to dip in there, so I'm going to take... my small kabuki brush and just go in and add some hologram dust. And that's just gonna make it look a little shiny. So I have cut my hole in my cake. We're gonna seal this fix. 